good afternoon. I'm uh, Christian, and Piero is with me here to introduce uh, Self Loops, a unique sensor and tracking platform for sporting enthusiasts. First of all, people love sports. Uh, who doesn't? I'm sure all of you love sports. Uh, I love sports. Uh, from a recent uh, EU report, we learned that 40% of uh, EU citizens uh, they play sport at least once a week. Why? To improve their health, to improve their fitness, and last but not least, have fun. Uh, the most popular sports were walking, cycling, and running. We chose to start first with cycling. So uh, in this context, we have been testing our service with the Italian Cycling Federation, a one Italian pro cycling team. Uh, you can see probably the picture of us uh, testing this. And uh, our motto is basically, you can improve only what you measure. And uh, as we know, the smartphones and the app economy have disrupted several industries. Just think about the portable music player or the portable digital camera. And uh, this the same is happening in the traditional fitness solutions. Smartphones are replacing the traditional fitness tools. And there are many players in the space and very, very successful. But we believe we can do better. We created a sensor and tracking platform where we are able to stream data from sensors to the smartphone and with the smartphone to the self loops cloud where you can stream data in real time and also store for later and post analysis. In this context, we were forced to create a unique accessory. It's the first time that this accessory exists for Android smartphones is an, an accessory that allows us, or allows the persons, to connect to unplugged sensors. And if you're not familiar with this term, uh, basically Garmin sensors are supporting unplugged standard. It doesn't exist for Android. Ad in addition to that, our accessory has temperature, barometric, and humidity sensors. And you can see probably some words, but People are, since we announced that, we receive several emails every day asking where you're gonna put this in the market. So hardware, please don't panic. What we are proposing is not just hardware, it's a combination of hardware and software. This combination create great experiences. And thanks to new technology, hardware is the new software, 3D printing, and the open source hardware platform allows to rapid prototype and uh, lower the cost and the risk in creating new things. Business model, hardware and freemium, it's, it's a kind of mix of freemium model where you have the hardware and the free service, hardware or premium service subscription based, or the hardware platform, uh, platform where we can license to third party to create new and exciting service in an application, and eventually even white label solutions. Smartphone accessory, by the way, is 20 billion according to AB Research. Our roadmap, we created the company in 2012, uh, February, and we are in a phase where we have the production ready for pre-production, basically for product launch by the end of the year, and we have the cloud solution already. Uh, the next steps is basically the product launch at the end of the year, plus extension of, of, of smartphone portfolio of accessory with supporting additional sensors and uh, platforms. What we aim for is the revenues uh, we aim for is five million and the revenues are coming from a mix of accessories sold and the paying users from premium services. And we, what we ask for a capital injection of 5K, 500K to scale the business. We have a strong team fully dedicated to this business and a passion for execution. I lead in uh, four different countries. I work for Nokia for uh, more than 10 years and I've been in product management. And my colleague uh, has a strong business, ba uh, strong technical background and uh, working for the biggest business in Italy. So for that, I would like to thank uh, the Mind the Bridge uh, Foundation for giving us the opportunities to present this uh, innovation to the public. We've, we've been to TechCrunch Italy and where we've been uh, mentioned as a standing from the crowd uh, among those startups. And we've been selected for the Start to Open competition as a finalist recently. And uh, with that, I really thank you and uh, looking forward for your questions.
Okay, seven minutes of, of Q&A. Who's just going to start? Thank you. I would like to ask you, which will be your first uh, sales channel? Uh, direct sign, uh, direct uh, channel through the web. The, the most immediate. So uh, there are going to be a, a few phases here. Uh, the base basically is the direct channel. We receive several emails every, every day since we announced we're going to be launching this product. And so we're going to launch that and we'll see the demand and then uh, starting to work with partners for distribution channels. And eventually, if the business is, is, is going well, we can even uh, create a kind of portfolio products and uh, hit the white label uh, market as well. Um, there seems to be a lot of uh, new products coming out. Super exciting. You have uh, devices. You link them together. Your heart monitor, pressure, temperature, everything right. else, data, data, data. So I'm a big believer that you are tapping on a great, great market, right? Thank you. So if, two questions. One is, um, if I were to give you a 10 million tomorrow, how can you make this stand out and become the one? And the second question is, in terms of your segmentation, are you targeting the fat guy sitting on the couch that wants to lose some weight, the uh, pseudo athletes, the elite athletes? What is the sequence of the people that you want to target? Because that's going to influence how big your market is. Right. That, that's a great question. And, uh, and very, we have two questions first. So let's go for the first one. So if you have a lot of money, what you're going to do. So basically our limitation right now is we can only focus in one single product and uh, one single uh, market and uh, one single platform. Uh, so eventually we want to scale this business in a way that we have a portfolio of products and a portfolio of platform where iOS, Windows uh, Mobile 8 and uh, all these things requires a lot of time, a lot of money and are in the efforts and eventually as well distribution channels and it's a lot of activities and create a brand and so forth so really uh, we are limited right now as a startups that's why we are here to ask for you know we are really in a great shape we have a working example we want to go launch these products but please it takes ma it requires money and uh, so uh, regarding the second question uh was about uh, where you're gonna focus, right? Uh, basically, what we are doing around around is we starting from the really top athletes, as you see in the the Na uh, National Cycling Federation and the uh, pro cycling team. Not because we don't want to target the mass market. Our focus is the mass market because we believe with the smartphone and this accessory, we really create advanced tools for the masses. But we want to ask the requirements and, and the, what kind of tools this professionals want to eventually transmit these tools to the masses. And as well, we believe that uh, what we are asking these guys for this uh, emulate, so giving these tools to the professionals, we know that people want to buy the same tools, right? So if you have a Bianchi, it's uh, $5,000, 10000 you target the professional, but you know that the most expensive bike are the amateurs. So that's the, the current strategy. Thank you. Uh, can you tell us something a little bit more about your pricing strategy, both on the hardware and on the software side? So that's a, a great question. Thank you. Uh, as I said and I mentioned uh, before, we have uh, a combination of products that don't necessarily have to be together. Uh, so the pricing strategy varies according to if you're going to bundle the, the service and accessory together. So we have some flexibility there to play with subscription-based uh, service, premium service on the cloud with uh, giving the accessory for free, for example. And at the same time, we can give, uh, you want all the accessory, so this is the price. So uh, we, I think we, this is one of the strengths we have. Not selling just hardware, not selling just software, but a combination of two where it allows you to play with those. Haven't, haven't you tested the pricing model so far? We are not launched yet, so um, thank you. I think the, the scope is very interesting, and uh, my opinion, you are putting great effort on product and tools, and less on uh, the community you have to, in my opinion, build around the your consumers, because this is something that Ivan taught me. So can I quote you? This software and product can be copied easily, but uh, the community, the engaged community of your product is something that nobody can 
copy you. So have you have any plan on how to engage your users of your end product together? That's a great question. Do you have any suggestion, please? <laughs> <laughs> no. Kind of some idea, yes. Yeah. So we can talk I later. I think it's something you have to, right. to put in your plan That's right. and have the, the skill set within the team to manage that. I, I fully agree. That's why uh, we are in a phase where we want to prove that what we had or what we had in mind could technically be, be done because this stuff were not straightforward in a way that we had to build everything. We done the R&D work and we are in a phase that, yes, it works, it can be done, what's next? And this point lays, now we need to go to the next steps and create a, a, a community. And so the fact that also we're collaborating with these pro, pro athletes is the way we want to build the community. We want to have these guys carry our tools and show this can be done and you can buy because we are gonna have affordable prices for, for people. Um, tell ah, me more. Sorry. Uh, <laughs> tell me more about your um, marketing strategy, your online marketing strategy, because you say that your first channel is online channel. Right. Right. Okay. Right. Yeah. So basically, uh, I mentioned Ant Ant Plus. And uh, not many people are, of course, familiar because it's, it's very a niche or sensor-wise fitness world. It's, it's not very popular, but if you know Garmin, you know, you know uh, Ant Plus. Uh, so we are a member of the Ant Plus Alliance, and we are going to work with them to launch the product, press release. Uh, there's a CES in the U.S. where we could eventually uh, be present. Uh, so we are going to build the momentum with the help of the Ant Alliance because, as I said, this is the first and plus accessory in the market. It's not the market yet, but we are going to uh, launch soon and doesn't exist such accessory in the market right now. I'm not saying that it's not possible, but we are the first. Uh, we are tr is tr striving to be the first. Uh, and, and then, of course, as I said, since we, we announced this product, we haven't advertised yet, right? I just posted a few uh, lines of, of, uh, of comments in some forums that are about fitness uh, and the Ant Plus member alliance as well. Uh, and they say, you know, people were asking, where can I find, if you read emails, I can show you the emails we receive. Where can I find an Ant Plus accessory? Uh, I just post a few comments. We are working on this. We are going to be ready. And I receive from these forums alone, without any advertising, I spend any money on advertising right now, we receive several emails every day around the world because it doesn't exist. Uh, so there is a demand. We need to fulfill it. Thank you. Thank you.